Hmm, that's not working. It's not the doorbell. Let's try this. Hey, welcome. Come in, come in. Um, why do I have two doorbells? Well, that's the old dumb doorbell. It doesn't work anymore. So I got myself one of these smart connected doorbells. It's great when somebody presses the bell, it notifies me on the app. I can monitor deliveries, you know, people loitering around in front of my house. It's not just a doorbell, it's home security. Anyway, come in. You know, it's not just my doorbell that's connected. My TV is connected. AV system is connected. Um, <laughs> coffee machine is connected. Robot vacuum cleaner. Uh, my oven here is connected. Dishwasher is connected. Washing machine, clothes dryer, connected, connected. It's all connected. I've even got connected fans. And connected lights too. Turn off. Turn on. Hey Google, are you connected to the internet? Hold on. If I'm answering, then I have an internet connection and I'm ready to help. What can I do for you? Hey Google, stop. <laughs> connected speakers. And it's my toothbrush. This thing is also connected and receives firmware updates. Can you believe that? Oh, by the way, Grey Shirt Zach, why are you here? I'm glad you asked, Blue Shirt Zach. I'm here about this. Hey guys, it's Zachary from How I Zone, and I've sent Blue Shirt Zach off to make some coffee so we can have some alone time, you and I. Now, I said I'm talking about routers and cybersecurity, not specifically this router or this router or this router, but all routers and everything that impacts your home network security, basically. Now, all the stuff you saw just now, all those gadgets are mine. This is my home. This is probably as close to a modern connected home you can get these days. Now notice I'm not saying smart home because a smart home requires some planning. It indicates that you've won certain things to work in a certain way. But a connected home is a whole bunch of things that you've bought that are all connected. All the home electronics that we buy today are more or less connected whether you want to or not. They have their own apps that do their own things. And you end up having a lot of stuff that, that just have connectivity for the sake of it. And these are the things that are the biggest threats to your home network. Unsecured IoT devices that you basically have no control over. Now, you can be a tech-savvy person. You can follow all the major cybersecurity best practices, having long passwords, you know, uh, changing your passwords all the time. You know how to spot fake websites, check for phishing emails, and don't fall for, you know, like the scam calls and all of those things. You can do those. Update your PC, update your tablets, update your phones. But what happens when this gets hacked or this gets hacked? Right? All of these things are connected to your home network and your home network is connected to everything else. What are you going to do then? Now, I'm going to read you a couple of threat and cybersecurity reports that um, over the past couple of months on the Kaspersky Advanced Threat Predictions for 2024 highlights the rise of creative exploits for mobile, wearables and smart devices building new botnets with consumer corporate software and appliances. Now, in a Checkpoint Software 2024 security report, it says ransomware evolution, explore major ransomware attacks exploiting zero-day vulnerabilities and expanding attack services, the increased risk from edge devices. Lastly, an Acronis Cyber Threats report from H2 2023 Singapore is one of the most targeted countries for malware attacks. Now, I know all these cybersecurity reports and threat analysis always sounds like it's the end of the world, and they are pretty much focused on big companies and corporations, right? You're probably asking, what has it got to do with you? Who's going to hack little old me? Who's going to hack my dishwasher and washing machine? And all this doesn't really impact you, right? Wrong. Now, I'm going to read one more report, a Trend Micro Research article that is titled A Look into the Most Noteworthy Home Network Security Threats in 2017. Routers are the gateway to all internet-connected devices in homes. 
they could also be potentially welcoming a bevy of home network threats, risking user information and security. And here's where we come back to the routers. Right. Remember when Blue Shirt Zach opened the front door and he was talking about how fancy connected camera is his sort of security as well? Well, that's what we do, right? Our front door is the gateway into our home. Right? We make sure that our front door is secured, locked and, and has the best security that we can so we don't have people coming into our homes. You don't have to lock up every small little thing in your home as long as your front gate is secure. And that goes the same for your router as well. This is the doorway to your digital home. How do you actually make sure your router is secure? How is one router more secure than another router? Now, to this end, the Cybersecurity Agency of Singapore has launched something called the Cybersecurity Labeling Scheme, or CLS for short. According to CSA's website, the CLS is the first of its kind in the Asia-Pacific region. Under this scheme, smart devices will be rated according to their levels of cybersecurity provisions. This will enable consumers to identify products with better cybersecurity provisions and make informed decisions. Singapore CLS is also sort of jointly recognized by some of other countries with very similar cybersecurity schemes, such as Germany and Finland. If you go to a shop today and buy a router, you're probably going to notice these kind of stickers on the box of the router. And this actually indicates the cybersecurity uh, level, the CLS level that that particular router has achieved. There are four levels in total. The first level one being the lowest is a product has met basic security requirements, such as ensuring unique default passwords and providing software updates. This is as basic as you can get to get level one certification all the way up level two, level three to level four being the highest where a product has undergone structured penetration tests by approved third party labs and fulfilled all the previous levels of requirements. There isn't anything really physically different about a router that has a CLS label and one that doesn't. They are the same routers that are being sold. It's just that because there is this new CLS scheme or there is this CLS scheme, brands can submit their routers to be certified. And being certified just basically means that a router has gone through a certain level of testing. Somebody has tested that router to make sure it meets a certain level of security requirements. Somebody has to ensure that these routers also, after certification, maintain that level of security requirements, which means just more peace of mind to you. Now, I have quite a few routers here from ASUS, and, and that's because they are claiming to be one of, or if not the most secure router brand in Singapore. And that's because they have the most level four certified routers among the competition. ASUS also provides things on the side like uh, lifetime free Trend Micro Antivirus. I think it's called AI Protection Pro or AI Protection Classic. It's, that's the name that ASUS is using. But unlike some of their competitors, it's not a, a trial software or time-limited subscription. It's, it's free for life. I've removed all the Wi-Fi 6 routers. What we have here is the latest Wi-Fi 7 routers from ASUS, the Zen Wi-Fi uh, mesh router system. This behemoth here is uh, ROG Rapture GTBE98. Uh, we saw this at CS, but it's now sold in Singapore. Um, I think it was launched about a week ago, or depending when you're watching this video, towards the end of February 2024. Now, this router currently has CLS Level 2 certification, which means it meets sort of the minimum requirements of security. One of them is having unique passwords for every router. And you know how all routers, when they were sold, every router has exactly the same password administrator. So if you bought a router and your neighbor bought a router, you could technically log into his. But with this CLS certification, the minimum level that you get, one of the uh, requirements is to have a unique password for every single router that are being sold. And ASUS goes one step further for people who may not be that tech savvy. There is a QR code here as well, so you can just use your phone, scan the router, 
and set up make sure you have a secured connection to your router. Now, I'm not going to pretend I know what goes on in this testing or how to test a router or how to hack a router, but let's go talk to an expert. Hi everyone, my name is Samuel. I'm a security analyst from Cisco. I will let provide some security version services such as a common criteria, cyber security labeling scheme, National IT Evaluation Scheme. All these schemes are approved by CSA. CLS. Why is this so important? So currently, there's 50 billion uh, devices out in the market uh, by 2030. Okay. And all these devices do not have any security features and always emphasize on uh, functionality. This is where CLS comes into play, where it's cost-effective and ensure that's a baseline security assurance for these devices. So what are these assurances? that you get from CLS? Currently, CLS 1 is the lowest assurance where they conform to a baseline checklist. Level 2 is the enhanced checklist. Level 3 is the binary analysis portion where uh, we will go through a binary scan on the firmware itself to see whether there's any vulnerabilities. And level 4 is the penetration testing. What's penetration testing? Uh, so penetration testing is uh, to resist uh, common attacks by the attackers. And the list of tests that we've done uh, for it is uh, authentication, communication, mobile application and this test will take around 15 days to complete. This is one of the tests that we do uh, to verify that TLS 1.3 is implemented in the device. So if you scroll down, there's a TLS 1.3 that's implemented with a list of cipher suites as shown in my script. And to verify that it's TLS 1.3, Go to the Wireshark, verify that it's implemented. So currently the tools that we are using is a directory buster. This is to verify that um, there's no hidden directory or uh, backdoor access that attackers can access through to exploit the device. So currently the results shown uh, do not have any results, means that it's, the result has passed the evaluation. We also do a physical testing on the router itself. We try to verify whether the attackers can assess the interface of the device itself. So the you're device. testing the actual router to see if people can access like the ports and, and all these pins. Yes. Correct. Doesn't that mean they have to actually get in your house to do that? Uh, yes. Hey guys, they don't just test the software of the routers. They apparently test the hardware as well and make sure people don't get into your router. Yeah, although that means somebody has you know come into your house and routers the least of your problems, but hey, at least they test it. Okay, so assume that a router has CLS, you know, level four on right now. Does this certification expire? Do they need to retest it at some point? Yes. So currently, it's three years support period. So the developers have to push down the patches for three years to the consumers itself after which they have to retest or send a new application for a CRS. But what if uh, a, a router doesn't get level 4? What happens then? Mm. If during the application, uh, they could not get level 4, they can withdraw the application and make the changes on their end and resubmit the new application. Is there, a, you know, in your experience, a particular test that is the most trouble for routers to pass? Yes, there is. A, is due to the communication channel where a device uh, uses HTTP which is sent over plain text information over the channel which is not secure. So the recommended one is always a HTTPS. So quite a lot of products you know, usually fail this test. Is yes. that correct? Okay, but I realize that you know like like I, this is an Asus router. Um, they claim to have like the most level four certifications of you know all, all the brands. Does it mean that they always pass this test? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. You have it. Well, that was very insightful, Samuel. Thank you very much for you know showing us how things are done and how routers are getting this CLS certification. Um, nice talking to you. Nice talking to you too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, just have to make sure that nobody gets in my house now. <laughs>
Before you go, don't forget to check out hardwarezone.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Join in the conversation. Like and subscribe to our YouTube if you want to see more of these videos. Do it.